that time of the week once again where we dive into the RTV6 vaults and take a look into the past. This morning we're taking a look back at the history of the Indianapolis Colts mascots. As you likely already know, the Colts moved to the Circle City from Baltimore in March of 1984. A group of Mayflower trucks brought the team into town 35 years ago. With the Colts now in Indianapolis, they introduced a mascot you may never have heard of. This is Huddles. Huddles patrolled the sidelines at the Hoosier Dome for years. So who exactly was under that costume? Let's take a look. Huddles is Barbara Sperling. Now everybody will know who the nutty person is under that costume. When Barbara's not Huddles, she's an assistant manager at the Hartford Insurance Company. She's also a firefighter for Wayne Township. We called the Colts and they said, uh, well, we have a costume, but we don't have anybody to wear it. So my husband said he would wear it because he thought it'd be kind of neat, you know. And they said, well, how tall are you? And he said, 6'4". And they said, no, we need a short, squatty person. And he said, I've got just the person for you. I just like being part of the activity and uh, being down there, feeling like I'm part of the team, if you may. <laughs> Huddles entertained fans for years until the Colts introduced the mascot you know and love back in 2006. Blue made his official debut on August 15th as he rappelled down the side of a building downtown. Since his debut 13 years ago, Blue has become one of the most famous and loved mascots in the NFL. You can see more of this story right now on the IndyChannel.com history. That's where you can also find all of our other Throwback Thursday stories.